Crypto Hopper. If you are new to my channel and you are looking to get some information on that platform or you're just looking for a way to make it better for you, well, I can tell you, you are at the right place. If you are a returning viewer or you are currently a subscriber, well, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today, I decided to do a different introduction. The weather is so nice. I live in Canada, Eastern Ontario, and the weather today is just so beautiful. So, and also, I would like to thank all of you. I just hit a couple hours ago, 1500 subscribers. Um, this is just amazing for me. Um, I never thought that would be possible. I started, I actually, I uploaded my first video about three months and a half ago. So not even four months and I'm already at 1500 subscribers. So I would like to thank every single one of you. I have an amazing community. Um, I try to respond to all the comments you're leaving in every video and you are just amazing people. So thank you very much. All right. So today I'll do an update on Crypto Opera. So like I said, if you are new uh, to this uh, channel and this is the first video you're watching on Crypto Opera, well, I'll leave a link uh, up here somewhere on top of this video so you can have access to the introduction video to better understand if this is your first time and you have no clue how Crypto Opera work. Uh, because on the on this video, I'll give you a little bit more detail and I'll, I'll give you a little bit more technical on how you can make your Crypto Opera better. And I will also give my weekly update on how it's been performing for the last uh, week. So let's get back in front of my computer and let's start this right now. All right, I'm back to the dungeon. All right, so let's start this. So the last time uh, on the last video, actually, I was talking about a new strategy that I show you, which was the Bollinger Band. And also I will cover the strategy just before that, because I believe that strategy was quite popular on YouTube. So I'll review that one also, which was the EMA on the 30 minutes. All right, so let's go on the dashboard so I can show you. So this is the uh, EMA uh, on 30 minutes. So this one's been running pretty good. The only thing um, it's when the market is ranging, it's still not perfect, but I will show you a quick setting that we can do to fix that. So if we look at my current result right now, um, so I'm still in profit pretty good. And if we look at the trade history, so I've been getting quite good result um, for the last couple weeks, except here, actually, that was a couple days ago, two days ago, actually, I lower my trade, my stop loss just to see if it would make a difference or if it could uh, help a little bit. Um, but um, just not long after I change it to uh, 5%, I start getting uh, loss right away. So I change it back again to where it was. And as you can see for the rest, I'm in profit for every, every trade, except here also, I had a stop loss at the 15%, uh, 15 and that was on the 24th. So I assume a lot of you also got a stop loss uh, for during that period. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty much positive. Another stop loss here on the 23rd. And then we keep going down the list and it's all positive. So 2%, 0.1%, 1%, 1.11%, and I can go up to the March 17 and it keep going. Um, so I have to say that strategy is working uh, pretty good. Um, like I said, only when the market is ranging, it take a little bit longer uh, to get result. But if you don't sell using the strategy, it won't sell, so you'll, you'll be fine. It'll wait for, to get in profit. So let me review with you again the uh, setting. So first of all, I'll show you what I did, the small change I did, and I did that change only two days ago. Uh, so probably around here, I did those change. Let me show you. 
So it was on my EMA 30 minute. So here's what I did. First of all, I removed the MACD completely. So as you can see, it's not there anymore. And why? Because I changed also the EMA. So what I did, so first thing, remove, I removed the MACD. And second thing, I went here to the EMA, on the EMA and I changed the numbers a little bit. So the short period, instead of being eight, I changed it to 10. And it's the long period, instead of being a 16, I changed it to 50. And here I put do not keep signal. And make sure you have necessary signal here and make sure it's the buy on the uh, 30 minutes. Also, I did try this on the, on the one hour and it's working, I'll show you later. All right, so we go here. So let me show you on the chart what happened when you use the 10 and 50. So if I go here, uh, let's say I go, well, this is Ethereum, so this is perfect. So let's go back anywhere on the chart. Let's go where it's probably going on a downtrend. So let's see right here. So we got the orange line, which is the 50. In the green line, it's the 10. So every time the green line go above the orange line, it trigger a buy on the hopper. So as we can see right now, there would be a buy right here. So it would take profit from here and then the trailing stop loss would kick in and get a profit right here. So if we look at here, so let's say I take my ruler it would probably enter a trade somewhere around here and the maximum would be like 2.7 percent so if we set the trailing stop loss that's at 2.5 well it would kick in here and then it will go up 2.82 and then go back down let's say 0 0.5 0 0.8 or one percent depending at what number you put the uh, percentage so it would sell and then we wait it would buy again here you can take profit and we, it will sell so as you can see right now we have like a small downtrend so it's going down it's going back up but not high enough to trigger a buy and then, then it keep going back down again and down again it start to go up trigger right here and then we get profit right here right here that's the only one probably we would get a stop loss on this one because if we measure the wick it would probably buy somewhere around here and the maximum it goes it's 0.5 so that would be a stop loss which is fine and then from here that's no go so there might be a couple right here that would be triggered from here and then you would have to wait for the stop loss one good one right here um, a smaller one right here but it would probably just go back down and let's see how down it would go so let's say you buy right here and it goes to minus 4.6 percent so you're fine stop the stop loss won't kick in so it would just keep going and after you get in profit probably somewhere around here it would sell so it's just to give you an idea why um i I, I wanted to show you this strategy um, because I think compared to the 8 and 16 that one is a little bit better when it's on a, a downtrend and also that strategy I've been using it on the one hour chart and it's working even better if we look let's say when when there's a downtrend uh, like right here as you can see when the, the the price was going up and down but because it stayed below the orange line there was no buy signal except maybe for this one right here but other than that um, there's a lot less signal when it's on a downtrend so let's see right here also so as you can see market start to go down here it's not touching so it's still on a downtrend 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 so there's no buy signal and the market is going down which is good because the the other ema on 8 and 16 probably it would buy uh, maybe somewhere around here or somewhere around here and then it would start to go down and loss uh, maybe the stop loss would kick in so 
30 minute is fine, it's working fine, but on the one hour candle, it's even better. So if we go back to the strategy, so 10, 15, but like I said, you can change this if you want to one hour, if you want uh, to maybe have a less negative uh, sell. But my personal choice would probably be on the one hour, but it's still working okay on the uh, 30 minutes. So let me show you what I did into the uh, config for this. So let's go quickly on all of them. So this one don't change, stay the same. Coin in amount. Actually, I'm trying different coin like every week. I try to see different kind of scenario, different kind of coin to see if there's some working better than the other. So at, at this point, it's pretty uh, mixed up. I'm just trying different kind of coin strategy. So make sure you have the proper strategy. So which is fine. Trading stop buy. I enable mine. It's at 0.2 uh, right now. You can put it anywhere between 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 maybe, but not anything higher than that. On the sell setting, so I put the take profit at 15%. That's just in case if for some reason the price will start to really go high very quickly. Uh, you could maybe pick up a quick uh, profit. Sell strategy, so sell based on strategy. This is very important not to enable because you might get uh, some loss. So stop loss. Right now I change it at 8. I'm doing some tests. Um, usually I put it between 10 and 15%. But I want to see if, if I put it a little bit lower. If it would matter. And then the stop loss. So right now the stop loss. Um, this is currently what I'm using. So if you're using the 30 minute candle for this strategy. Use the arm trailing stop loss at 1.8 and the stop loss at 0.6. You can put whatever you want, but those numbers have been working uh, pretty good. Also, when I was doing back testing, those numbers was getting pretty good result. If you are using on the one hour uh, chart, well, here you could put uh, the arm at 4% and the trailing stop loss, you can put it at 1% because on the one hour chart, the profit will be bigger, but it will take a longer to uh, get there. So if you're using on the one hour, use 4% here and 1% here for the trailing stop loss. And all the rest, it's not enabled. It's all disabled. So make sure if you do any change, you click on save to save your setting and you're all good to go. So that's for the EMA 30 minutes. Now for the other one that we talked about the other day, which is the Bollinger Band. This one I did a very interesting change. So this one, same thing, a lot more quiet. It doesn't do a lot of trade, uh, but when it does, usually it's a good profit. So, so far since the beginning of this one, I only had two stop loss uh, and that's it. And overall the profit is not bad at all. Uh, but it doesn't do as much uh, trade compared to the EMA uh, 30. So let me show you what I did on this one. So on the uh, strategy, it's the Bollinger Band RSI swing. Now, there's something that I changed and I'm pretty sure this is a brand new indicator. Unless I didn't see that indicator for the last couple months, um, but I'm pretty sure this is brand new. The RSI with region crossover. Because what I didn't like about the other or the regular RSI, it was triggering when the line was crossing the region. Let me show you. If I go on the chart, I have my RSI right here. So to trigger a buy for the RSI, we were asking the bot to do it when it was at the 70 um, right here at the 70 level, uh, I mean at the 30 level right here at the bottom. So as soon the the RSI was touching 30 or 31 in my case, it was triggering a buy signal. But it's not always good and that's not the way we use it. Normally RSI, it's when it exits 
the zone. That's the way I've been using it since all those years and that's the way I use RSI. If I want to look if it's overbought or oversold, I always wait for the price or for the line to come back in inside the purple area right here. So if it's at the top, so when I want to sell, I wait for the line to come back inside and if I want to buy, I always wait for the price to come back in so you got a better um, better price and better movement but on the uh, crypto upper there was no option for that and then i realized a couple days ago that on the list of indicator when i do rsi now they have one called um, crossover so i'm pretty sure this is brand new i don't recall seeing this before unless i'm mistaken but anyway, that's the one to use. Why? Because when you click on it, you can choose if you want the signal when it's going out or when it's going in. And in that case, I want it when it's going out. So make sure you remove the old RSI and go here to indicator, type RSI and select the one that says RSI with region crossover. Click on it and this will pop up. Make sure you change it to the 30 minute um, and then you put buy necessary signal and all the rest stay the same. But here on signal on region, you have to make sure that it's out and do not keep the signal. So what it will do is when the RSI goes back inside the purple area right here, it will trigger a buy signal and that's what we want. So make sure you have that Bollinger Band, nothing changed. Everything is the same as before and make sure you click on the save when you're done. And for the config, I don't think I changed anything. We'll just go through um, together, but I'm pretty sure everything is identical from uh, last week. So trailing stop buy, I have it at 0.3% sell setting so i put my profit at 15 percent sell strategy so don't sell using the strategy stop loss so this one i put 10 percent trailing stop loss so right now this one is at harm at 2.2 and then the it will trail for one percent auto close shorting and uh, dca that's completely disabled so that's i'm pretty sure that's all the same unless the uh, trailing stop loss i modify something from the last time because i i tend to play a lot with those number but everything is the same so if you did change something well make sure you save it right here all right so let's go back to the dashboard and don't forget do your back testing so if you're setting up a brand new strategy always make sure you do some back testing to make sure you your setup are okay the back testing of crypto upper it's you have to take it with a grain of salt it's not perfect it does sometimes weird thing but at least it gives you a good idea if uh, your uh, sitting are okay or not and then you can adjust later down the road if something are not okay but at least by doing a back testing it's a good way to see if your strategy or your sitting does make sense so I hope I did answer all your questions. I hope it did help a little bit. If you think this was valuable, well, please make sure you hit the uh, like button. And if you're not already subscribed, well, make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button to my channel if you don't want to miss any of my future video. So that's it for me today's guy. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon on the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.